and give wisdom and strength to all who are anointed with it in preparation for baptism. Bring them to a deeper understanding of the gospel. Help them to accept the challenge of Christian living and lead them to the joy of new birth in the family of your church. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Let us pray that God, our mighty Father, will bless this oil so that all who are anointed with it may be inwardly transformed and come to share in eternal salvation. Upon him in the form of a dove, 
and by the witness of your own voice, you declare him to be your only well beloved son. In this, you clearly fulfill the prophecy of David that Christ will be anointed with the oil of gladness beyond his fellow men. As the priest will say the right hands. And so, Father, we ask you to bless this oil you have created. Fill it with the power of your Holy Spirit through Christ your Son. It is from him that the Christian takes its name, and with Christian you have anointed yourself priests and kings, prophets and martyrs. Make this Christian a sign of life and salvation for those who are to be born again in the waters of baptism. Wash away the evil they have inherited from sinful Adam. And when they are anointed with this holy oil, make them temples of your glory, radiant with the good name of life that has its source in you. Through this sign of prison, grant them royal, priestly, and prophetic honor, and clothe them with incorruption. Let this be the key to the prison of salvation, for those who will be born again of water and the Holy Spirit. May they come to share eternal life in the glory of your kingdom. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please now take your seats.